Greetings, Saber Knights. I was here. A little follow-up to my last video where I was talking about uh, the different kind of broad categories of martial art that I'm kind of looking at things like. Um, I wanted to then bring up, and I think it deserves its own topic, its own video, um, is kind of what we're doing here, which is fantasy-based martial arts. And I think if we look at the progression from traditional, historical, sport, performance, we kind of naturally arrive here, which is the fantasy martial arts. And the fantasy martial arts, of course, begin in fiction. So when people are writing fiction, they bring in different martial arts or something like that. Obviously, Star Wars is our concern here, so the lightsaber becomes a recipient of that treatment. Um, Star Trek, any of the other fan type, types of things, we've got Klingon martial arts, as we start to build worlds more and more and more in our minds and through our different media and different ways of expression, um, we are kind of wanting to add more and more and more and more detail to these worlds. And one of the things that is very interesting about these communities, since we have people from so many different walks of life, is people kind of gravitate towards the thing that they want to bring into this world, into this kind of fantasy realm. For us, here, TPLA and other, <laughs> you know, other organizations out there, we like bringing the martial arts into it. <clears throat> Not only as a means of kind of play or um, as performance or even as just, you know, kind of a pastime, but <clears throat> bringing it into a kind of more real realm, realm where it makes it a little bit more tangible so that not only, it's, it's not really just a facade. It's not really just to look cool. It can. And we can make things look a certain way. Um, but with the fantasy martial arts, it allows us to kind of put it in a, in a separate compartment. And then we can look at the way that we really use it in real life, that kind of thing, you know, for the combat and, and all that. Um, <clears throat> but I think it's a very interesting and very fertile ground for what we're doing here. We're obviously having a fun time of it. And uh, as you see, the, the Shen stuff is coming out. Um, there will be more videos uh, forthcoming very, very soon. So keep an eye on those. But um, that's just the tip of the iceberg. We've got a long way to go. We've got a lot of stuff that we got to put out there. we just got to organize and, uh, and put into a format that can be digested. <clears throat> so, um, the fantasy martial arts, and hopefully we'll get into other fantasy martial arts, um, dealing with uh, barehanded or other types of weapons, um, more conventional blades, as we've as we been hinting at for a few months now. Uh, <clears throat> but I find it to be extremely refreshing and very, uh, very free, because you're not and we've mentioned this before, you're not hampered down by nationalism, um, a type of, you know, any type of bad blood between, you know, a host nation and a teacher who lives within that host nation. There's no, you know, real sides. You can be Jedi or Sith, but in the end of the day, you're both Star Wars fans, and that's really what we're talking about. We're not really going after each other and all that. But we can kind of exercise these things. Um, that comes in with kind of the whole point of Star Wars to begin with, which is the Joseph Campbell idea of taking these primitive kind of archetypical things that we do that we may have out outgrown because we've become civilized. Um, you know, warring and chivalry, all this other stuff. And we don't want the reality of that back. We certainly do not want that. <clears throat> we don't want to be having to chop each other up into pieces um, right there. We don't want to be doing any of that kind of stuff. So um, the fantasy martial arts, um, and hopefully this will be an area of, of real growth. in the game. So um, anyway, that's it for me uh, this time. So until next time, I will uh, bid you adieu and wish you happy Saturday.